If you try using our app so far, you'll see it has two problems. First, when you add an expense, you can't actually see any details about it, like the value, for example. And second, when you're in this adding an expense view and press save, the sheet just kind of stays there, doesn't go away. Before we finish this project, let's fix these two to make the whole thing a little more polished. First, we can dismiss this view by calling dismiss on the environment when a time is right. Now this is controlled by the views environment and it links to the is presented parameter we used for our sheet. That boolean will be flipped to true to show add view, but it'll be flipped back to false when we call dismiss on the environment. So in our add view over here, and a new property up here to read the dismiss value from the environment. I'll say at environment backslash dot dismiss var dismiss. You'll notice we haven't got to specify exactly what type this is. SwiftUI can figure it out from the environment key for dismiss. Second, we want to call dismiss as a function to dismiss the view itself. This will cause the showing add expense boolean in content view to be flipped back to false and hide the sheet. We already have the save button right here, make the expense item, add it to the array. This is the perfect time to dismiss the view. So I'll say after that, dismiss. And that solves the first problem. I'll go up here again, press command R, I'll press plus, and I'll say it's time we have important uh, drinks for work purposes, of course, uh, business, and it's gonna be 40 bucks of drinks. I'll press save, boom. Drinks appears in here and the sheet goes away with one button press. That was the first problem, which leaves the second one. We want to show the name of our expense item right now, but ideally also more information too. This is inside our content view. We have a little for each, uh, where is it? Down here, boom. Show the item, the expense, the name of the expense and nothing more. And we're going to place this with a stack within another stack showing more information here. So it looks really good on the screen. The inner stack will be a V stack showing the expense name and type. Then around that will be a H stack with a V stack on the left, then a large spacer, then the expense amount on the right. This kind of layout is very, very common on iOS. We have title and subtitle on one side and then more information on the other side. And so I replace a simple text item name here with a H stack. Inside there, a V stack with alignment of leading. Inside there comes our item, or V stack with a C, of course, our, our text of the item's name. I have this thing a font of headlines, it's a little bit bolder. Then do text of item type. That's our V stack. Then below the V stack, I'll say as a spacer to push the rest of the view to one side. And then a text of our item's amount the format of currency with the code of USD, like that. And now run the program one last time, try it out, see what you think. As you can see, we have 70 and 40 now appearing nicely in here. We're done.